Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Pink Cloud 9 video podcast, vodcast trademark on YouTube and Spotify. I have an amazing, a wonderful, lovely, beautiful lady. Her name is Drosela and she is the Diversity Trust Builder. Drosela, tell us what does that mean and how do you help people? Hello, Catherine. Thank you for having me. Um, my name is Drusella, as you said, and uh, I help uh, businesses building trust, believe in the unifying communities, because I do believe that when we believe we build strong, uh, diverse communities, businesses thrive. And when they thrive, the communities also thrive. So by building trust within the businesses and the community, mm -hmm. uh, I help them to be more uh, profitable, they can build more revenues, and they can be more efficient. I do that through speaking, coaching, and training. So anyone who will want uh, a training, a trainer uh, regarding the diversity and building those strategies at work, and we'll do it in a funny way, because sometimes when you talk about diversity, trust, and inclusion, people have fear. But there is a way to simplify things because people eat different foods. You and I have different ideas. So you can simplify the messaging and how people can build those strategies. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Tell us how long have you been doing this and what did you do before, if anything different? Otherwise, just tell us you did the same thing. I became a speaker coach and trainer full time uh, since June. Uh, in previous, I was uh, executive director for Bridge Refugee Services, mm -hmm. and I became um, a, a director after serving in different capacity. I came to America as a refugee in 2008, uh, and I, I lost everything I invested in for more 40 years, and then I had to start from scratch. When I was looking in other direction, what I can do after being a director, I felt like I had a big call to come to support my community, uh, helping like police officers, departments to have trust and the collaboration between them and minorities. I wanted to support women uh, who are mostly African-Americans and empower them in networking. Mm -hmm. But also I saw that there are gaps. Uh, people sometimes do not have trust between each other because they don't know each other. Mm -hmm. And I felt that big call of building a movement, not only locally, but nationally and worldwide, so we can have leaders who care about the trust and the collaboration that become like a lifestyle of doing business. Wonderful. That is so interesting. What uh, state are you in at the moment? Just I what... reside in Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we also know each other from different different areas of the speaker world. Um, could you please remind everyone how we met and also where we've connected? And uh, just to let everyone know, how is it that we are all, you know, networking and connecting and getting to know each other? Yes. After Faith, uh, which is my number one superpower, networking is my second superpower. So I met you uh, in a networking group where uh, speakers meet and connect. And uh, also some people say, if there is one thing you can teach refugees and immigrants, what will it be? And I said, build a relationship and networking because this is how uh, you build uh, trust. This is how you build businesses. Everything lies on relationships. So this is how I met you, uh, an event raptor. And uh, I think we met on another uh, platform as well. And I'm very grateful um, because also the book I'm launching uh, on Friday is based on the relationship when somebody invited me on the podcast and they liked my story and they say, hey, I'm launching a book. Can you write a chapter in that? I say, yeah, yes, I can do it. <laughs> so for the listeners, uh, if you have difficulties uh, to network, to build relationship, I have a formula I can teach. Even I teach people how to initiate conversation with strangers because when you move to a new country, sometimes you are lost and you don't speak the language. And I teach people how to network uh, and the how to engage conversations with uh, strangers. 
Awesome. Hmm. Yeah, we did meet, we did, uh, we do networking with Event Raptor. We, uh, which is that, from my understanding, are connected with Speaker Connections Speaker. Uh -huh. with the Ericsons. Yes. And they have a Facebook group. It's called uh -huh. Speaker Connections. And they do events, I believe it's twice a month through yes. Event Raptor and you know, Zoom and through the Facebook group, you can find them and also meet not just speakers, but also people that have platforms to speak on, right? So that's yes. a wonderful community. So I'm glad that we were also able to network there. Yeah. Tell, us, tell me more about the book coming out. I want to know more. So the title of the book is Leaders with a Heart. And my chapter is about I'm no longer a victim. I am a creator. Uh, as you know, I'm originally from Rwanda. We had genocide in 1994. We lost almost a million people. I talk about my journey during the genocide and then my uh, childhood and uh, my journey to become a refugee and adolescent. And, and I, I do recommend people what they can do to support refugees because sometimes you feel like people have fear and resentment uh, against refugees and immigrants. And they forget that we are all aliens on this earth. And they forget how the refugees and immigrants contribute too much uh, in our lives uh, because they have different skills, they have different culture, they are enriching our communities. And uh, I wanted also to encourage refugees not to uh, give up because there are many people of goodwill who want to support. And also I share some resources where they can go. And uh, I, I, I just tell them, do not be discouraged by few people who do not, uh, who are not welcoming because many are welcoming. And also I talk about how the American dream is real for people now who are losing jobs and who are losing businesses and their family challenges uh, from somebody who was a member of parliament and the government and I come in this country, I started from $6.55 an hour. And then I keep up going and learning, investing in myself, reading books. And one of my quotes, uh, personal quotes is saying, the problem is not starting from the bottom. The problem is staying at the bottom. So you can rise uh, no matter where you are today and no matter the frustration, the circumstances, you are stronger than you think you are. Absolutely, absolutely. That is, uh, that's very powerful and I agree with you about the uh, people having, you know, I, I believe it's just people have fear of what they don't know, right? Yeah. So if they don't know that something or someone is here to actually help and contribute, then they're just going to be fearful. And so I'm glad that you are one of many that are helping bridge the gap between that um, unknowing, you know, uh, between the communities. And it's really exciting and lovely. And I'm I'm happy that the book is coming out. Uh, what is the date again? You said it earlier, but just one more time. Yes, the date is sat this coming Friday, mm -hmm. September 30th. We'll launch uh, at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So we have uh, uh, authors from Australia, from Europe, uh, and we agree that we'll launch 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time, because this is my time. And I am inviting my friends and the listeners uh, to buy uh, the book, uh, the digital copy. It will be 99 cents. Mm -hmm. And the uh, uh, proceedings will go to a charity. And the paperback will come uh, two weeks after. So if you want to read many stories, including mine, uh, uh, I, I invite you to purchase a digital copy and then let alone a, a paperback. Uh, September 30th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. You can go on Amazon and purchase one copy uh, digital, which is uh, Leaders with a Heart. And as I told you, um, I became a, a co-author through networking as well. So networking is uh, powerful. Absolutely. That's wonderful. I'm glad that you said the title of it. And also the links are available in this description below or above, depending on which social media you're on. But uh, you can 
get a hold of the Diversity Trust Builder and also the book that is coming out so that you can, you know, get more information, uh, purchase the book, you know, things like that. So make sure that you all, you know, get more information about Rosella and the work that she's doing. So congratulations on everything that you're doing. Um, so you. I have this, this really quick thing that um, I just uploaded the whole system so that I can have like a timer on, right? And I'm just mm -hmm. letting everybody know. So this is new. And the good thing is I have the little button that I can put it on or I can take it off, which is great because mm -hmm. nobody wants a timer on there all the whole time. I think it's a little <laughs> distracting and, and nerve wracking. So I took it off, but it's there for people that want to download it uh, for, for your Zooms in your networking meetings. You know, some people have 30 seconds to speak or five minutes or, you know, so I love it. It's the new feature that I'm excited about. So, Drosela, tell me some more uh, speaking opportunities, uh, workshops uh, that are coming up for you that you would like us to know about and attend. Or... I speak about diversity, of course, uh, resilience, and um, uh, I speak about embracing change, too, because uh, as somebody who came from another continent, another country, starting from scratch, I have some tips I give to the audience uh, to deal with th change, especially during COVID or any other changes you are going through uh, and stressors, uh, if it's relationship, it's uh, business related. So I tell uh, um, my topic to the audience needs and I over deliver. And same with uh, um, uh, coaching and training. I have 101 uh, and I have group coaching as well and i have one year coaching program if you want to be with me for one year i have a plan for that but also i have uh, um, a group coachings and uh, i'm looking for um, like businesses mm -hmm. who are willing to develop uh, diversity strategies and they can train also their employees so they can be able um, to uh, stay motivated i can also teach how you can package the benefits so employees are attracted to you. I, I teach people how to tell your story. How do you tell the story of your company so it is more positioning you uh, compared to other ones? And uh, also I help with uh, manifesto, uh, to write their manifesto, and they can do evaluation. So I, I, as I said, I do it in a funny way. We, we, we collaborate on crafting it so people can be not, you know, um, stressed about that process. I make it ease. And uh, if there are women uh, who are lacking confidence mm -hmm. and uh, there are organizations that are supporting and empowering women, uh, I am also working with them uh, to make sure that they have confidence because in my community, we have um, uh, traditional uh, and multi-generational poverty. And uh, uh, one of um, my friends said, poverty is not lack of money, it's lack of resources. And, and sometimes you don't also have confidence to stand on your feet and say, hey, I can manage this project, but also, uh, help those businesses who are investing in our communities to have the return on investment. It doesn't happen one day. This is why coaching and accompanying the clients uh, through different sessions and check-ins is very uh, powerful and this is the way to go. And I'm glad that uh, I am in this uh, arena and this sector and uh, I meet wonderful people and uh, I can, keep doing uh, and making a global impact. Absolutely. I love that you're doing the uh, the networking through online, which is powerful. Are you also doing in person or are you doing only online? Because I'm, I'm doing in person, especially in my region where I live in Knoxville, um, but uh, I am open. Right. I'm open and if, if an opportunity shows up, uh, I can fly in any other state or any country in the world. That's awesome, and that's good that uh, yeah. because uh, I, th I believe in person is opening up a lot more now. A lot yes. of people are feeling more comfortable, able to, and it's important because although Zoom is great, 
um, it's really like it, it, I miss the in person, you know, the, yeah. the, the, maybe the hug or the handshake or, mm -hmm. you know, what have mm -hmm. you, uh, the connection, you know, so I'm glad that you're also doing in person. Let yes. me ask you, um, as far as, um, pricing is concerned, I love that you have different, different pack packages, like one year group yeah. things like that. Now I'm not asking for numbers, but is there some sort of a, maybe a payment plan? Because I know that my audience and I love to know about people's, um, price packagings, you know, yeah. plans, uh, what does, uh, maybe like one year kind of look like versus the, what does a group coaching have that a one year doesn't or a one year that a group coaching, you know what I mean? Like, can you explain what that looks like for us? Yes. I can explain what it looks like. And I know people are at different levels. And since I am concerned about elevating people and uh, helping with uh, poverty education and self uh, development, I do offer uh, two payment plans uh, in, in any capacity. For most of the time for group coaching, normally I do as full, uh, but uh, I, I do understand the impact of COVID uh, for people who are committed and they can be flexible. This is why when I tell clients that if they have hardship, just we talk about it, but normally I do offer a payment plan in two installment if people want really to uh, uh, chase their dreams and work on their dreams. Very cool. I appreciate mm. that. Okay, so mm. it's been lovely to have you, Drosella, uh, and everyone. Thank you for being here. Uh, please tell us one last time, what's the best way to connect with uh, the Diversity Trust Builder and also one last time about the book and the link and Amazon okay. and stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay, the book is uh, will be launched uh, Friday, mm -hmm. uh, September 30th, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. If you go to Amazon and the title is Leaders with a Heart, mm -hmm. and I know you all have a heart and you are have a generous heart. I hope that you will support me by purchasing the digital copy, by also purchasing the uh, paperback uh, within two weeks after publishing. And you can find me through LinkedIn. You can find me through drosella at drosella.com mm -hmm. or you can visit me uh, on uh, drosella.com and uh, we were, and then you can message me on Facebook as well. So, um, right. and thank you for listening. Thank you for having me, Catherine. And uh, I look forward to continuing working with you because collaboration is the new currency. That is correct. Very, very, very well said. Thank you so much, Rosella, for being here. And uh, please, everyone, support uh, what she's working on doing and all of the uh, wonderful efforts for the community in person and global as well. Uh, please be nice and kind to the elderly, the kids animals and everyone in between let's just be kind thank you for watching the pink cloud nine podcast have a wonderful rest of the week happy yes. sunday happy sunday thank you bye bye